Okay, so here we are in the uh, garden. The raised garden, this is a smaller one of the two that we have. And I built a little frame for holding up the frost cloth. And I'll go ahead and explain to you how I did that. Um, first things first, we've got some half inch PVC as our posts. They just go right to ground level. And these little clamps I used our, um, it's just called a uh, half inch two hole strap. Uh, I don't know if you see that EMT. I got on the electrical aisle, but uh, they're like a dollar ten for a bag of four, so it's not too bad. I put one in the bottom here, one at the top, and at first that's all I had. And as you could see, the two poles over there they bow in slightly from the tension on the. Uh, on this green, I don't know what you'd call this green landscape wire, I guess is what we'll call it. Um, so what I did then is I got some rebar, four foot rebar, and see if I can get see if I can get this guy off easy enough. They're on there pretty pretty good. Here he comes. No, he doesn't want to come off. But uh, yeah, he's on there good. But uh, I don't use any glue or any of that. It's gonna be it could be broken down fairly easy. But I think I tapped on it with a with a rubber mallet a little too hard. But anyway, so the four foot rebar stops right here, and we drilled um, a hole. Let's see what was that? It was a uh, three sixteenths drill bit, which fit perfect, or the wire fit perfect in there. There's not much play at all. And uh, so just where the cap stops, we've got our wires going through, we drill a hole, and we basically just make a frame above the bed with this wire, and our frost cloth will hang on one side, we've got these clamps, and then it'll, hang, it'll drape over these wires, and then once it comes down here, we just, we'll just clamp it right to the frame of our raised garden bed. Throw these up here for, for storage. And so that's it. Um, originally, I, well, I don't think I made a video of this, but originally I had, instead of wire, I, it, was all, it was all PVC frame. And this is 10 foot section here that we're looking at. So it had quite a bit of sag in it. And uh, I mean, this is fairly tight. I don't want to pull too hard. Just gotta hold up some lightweight cloth, but um, that's about it. And so, once you finish your frame, it comes a wraps around here, and then I just sort of put the excess right here. And I could have cut it nice, but uh, it's always good to have a little extra. You never know what you're gonna need it for. But uh, so that's it. It froze two days ago. It got below freezing. Yesterday was right at like 33, 34, so I kept that covered. And then for the uh, wine barrel, it's filled with all different sorts of flowers and stuff. I made a kind of a neat little frame. Oh yeah, I don't know if I said this PVC, it's half inch PVC. And shoot, that was really cheap. That was uh, I think a dollar 68 for 10 feet. And the, the, the thing that hurt the most, I guess, was uh, buying these these clamps they were like two dollars a piece so I bought six yeah, and that's the that was the most money spent on this project um, but for, back to this wine barrel I built a cool little frame let me back up and, and show it to you the yard is a little bit of a mess right now but uh, so here let me put it up against this hay so at the bottom here, this leg, that's a one, one foot. This is all half inch PVC. Then we've got our elbow, and then we come up three feet. Another three feet going across the center, three feet down and another one foot out. And then this little guy here, the reason I had, I couldn't find it where it was slip here, slip here, and slip there. For some reason, it, this is threaded, so I had to get a little attachment, another nickel and dime there, you know, for this piece. So that's 
that's a uh, slip and that's just for futures if I want to build if I want to take the frame out more um, thinking I can only I can just do a 90 and then eliminate this whole piece but what I do is it just goes right over this wine barrel and it doesn't have to look pretty but as you can see it's so it's standing up on its own and then when we get our cloth it's draped over this you know this way we can run some cloth over the wine barrel and drape it right back down here and actually I did last night I just lifted it up and stuck it right under right under this leg and put it down and and the weight from the blanket pulling down and then the weight from it over here in the garden keeps it standing up and then we can cover our uh, flower barrel here and because I don't use any pipe glue on this it's all the it does it's detachable in a matter of seconds yeah real quick and then uh, you can paint it I was debating on whether I'm gonna paint um, these poles here I got a nice dark green uh, these summer suns though I just fear that it's gonna it's gonna flake off and in in a month you know in July alone it'll probably flake off with this heat but we'll see we'll give it a shot that's why I use the screen wire as well it's aesthetically it didn't look very good with these four white you know beams everywhere so uh, I don't know it worked last night everything everything's looking good the tomatoes are filling in real nice and uh, and the height I chose um, for these I'm not gonna let our tomatoes and peppers and whatever else get too high I'm gonna top them get more more production that way and then in the back here the sunflowers I could always just let them peek right out of the frost cloth uh, they should be fine and then oh yeah we made this just for fun um, those are our, our peas and lima beans and those are mesquite branches that uh, they were doing some uh, tree trimming the other day in a little green belt area and that's just just left over that they didn't sweep up so I thought hey, well maybe make a little cage of sorts to have them start climbing up and uh, and it looks cool so there you go hopefully the frost didn't kill any of your plants and vegetables and uh, if you like it leave a comment that's cool I always like comments alright take care